The New York Stock Exchange is back open this morning after a two day shutdown because of Hurricane Sandy. Stocks opened mixed. It is the first time since 1888 that the exchange remained closed for two consecutive days because of weather. Officials say the storm did not cause major damage to the building and the trading floor is fully operational. Investors are also optimistic after getting more positive news on the housing market. The superstorm affected all six oil refineries on the East Coast, where they make up about 8% of the U.S. refining capacity. During the storm, most had either shut down or ran at reduced capacity. They are now getting back up to speed, but two refineries in New Jersey have no power, and it is unclear when they will be back online. Unemployment rates declined in almost every major U.S. city last month. Analysts say it is a sign that hiring is widespread. The Labor Department says nearly half of the cities now have unemployment rates below 7 percent. The unemployment rates increased in only 11 cities and were unchanged in six. And Disney now owns The Force and says it has plans for more Star Wars movies. Walt Disney agreed to pay $4 billion for Lucasfilm, giving it control of the Star Wars and Indiana Jones franchises. Disney expects to release Star Wars Episode 7 in 2015, followed by Episodes 8 and 9. Disney says it also has plans for Star Wars theme parks and TV shows. That's your Money Watch. For more, stay with CBSMoneyWatch.com. In New York, I'm Ashley Morrison.